Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Max DeVincenzo of Fox Tracks Music. I am setting up a template session in Pro Tools for composing orchestral music, and I've been meaning to do this for a while, and I thought I'd bring you along on the journey, and if you're a producer or a composer yourself, you like to make music in Pro Tools or Logic, or I think in Ableton also, this is all very similar stuff. Um, the reason for making a multi-timbral instrument is to save CPU, um, and Pro Tools lets your computer run a lot better. And I really like the workflow also. Makes it very easy for mixing rather than um, if you use contact before, you know that if you use just one instance of contact and have all those instruments playing out of the same audio track, it's kind of impossible to mix it. You have to use the internal mixer that contact provides. It's just not as ideal. Or in Pro Tools, we can use a mixer that Pro Tool offers. So I'm gonna walk you through this process step by step I have a totally blank session in front of me and I'm gonna dive right in go every little itty bitty tiny step so first things first we're gonna do a new instrument track here stereo instrument track and I use east west play for my orchestral samples great virtual instrument really enjoy it so we have our instrument track here I'm going to add the east-west instrument. It's called play. And we have our window open. So if I go over to the browser, and this will be the same for contact, which I will also walk you through, we have all our instrument choices here. I'm just gonna start by picking a couple of instruments that I know I'm gonna use. So let's pop into um, strings, gold. I'm gonna get some first violins. I like the key switch. So I'm gonna grab the key switch violins. I'm gonna hit add. Same thing in contact, you just add your first instrument. We'll let this load. There we go. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna have to go over here, see how this, this is the MIDI symbol, probably know that already, and this says Omni. We don't want Omni, that means that no matter what MIDI channel we're using, this is gonna pick up the MIDI signal from it. So we don't want Omni, it's everything. I'm gonna make this one. This is the first thing that we have. I'm gonna pick one there. And then notice here, this is main left and right. We're also gonna to wanna to change that. I'm gonna come back to that though. So I have my first violins, that sounds great. Perfect, let's do second violin. I'm going to basically do all the instruments in the orchestra. I'm going to add this. If you double click, it will replace. So hit add. Load that up. And you'll notice, again, this went to Omni. We don't want Omni. We want two. This is the next instrument. So one, two. You get the idea. So we're going to keep going through. Let me grab some violas next. Key switch. Add. I'm gonna grab some cellos, key switch, and, and of course we need some basses, key switch, and. Okay, and again, make sure that these are ordered in the same way that our MIDI channels are set. So one, two, three, this will be four, this will be five, so now what we have, if we go back to our player, um, whichever instrument is selected is what shows up in this play window, but we have five different MIDI channels and one channel for each of these instruments. Um, so now what I'm gonna do in my DAW, I'm gonna come back into the timeline, I'm gonna make some new tracks. Just to start, I'm going to make five MIDI tracks and I'm just gonna call these for the prefix here, um, just east-west. There we go, so now I have east-west one, two, three, four, and five. This is receiving MIDI here, and then the output for the MIDI, we don't want this, right now it's set to my keyboard, channel one. For this situation, we wanna assign each of these MIDI channels to the MIDI channels that are happening in east-west over here. So. For this first east-west, which is gonna be my first violins, I'll select east-west play, and select channel one. East-west two, channel two. 
east west three channel three and you notice that these turn gold as you select them it's telling you that something is active on that channel channel five there we go so now we have the ability if i select east west one and arm it for recording and play we can see over here that the violins are playing, right? That's what's active on the MIDI channel. If I switch here to East West 2 and record on this track instead, we're gonna have the second violins play. Same thing, keep moving down, East West 3, violas. <laughs> They're on a trill right now. That's these key switches down here. Um, and so on and so forth. So we have cello and bass also. And cool thing about this is if I want to record um, doubled cello and bass, in Pro Tools you just don't, you hold down shift and you arm both of these tracks for recording. The reason this is so nice for composing is now if I hit record in Pro Tools, it's recording on both of these tracks separately. So I'm recording my cello part and my bass part at the same time. Right? And then if I wanted to, I can just go to the cellos, I can change octaves, I can adjust any of the notes, I can record any two instruments at the same time. It makes it really nice for arranging. Okay, so that's all great. Last thing we need to do, you might have noticed that all of these instruments, no matter which one I play, they're all coming out of the same instrument track here. This is the same output. And if you remember in the beginning, I was talking about this output here. So we need to change this now. So I personally don't like to use the main left and right at all. So I'm going to start three, four. You can think of the main left and right as one and two. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I'm just moving down. So now I'm going to have no audio, right? Because this is routing out to the, the plugins output three and four which doesn't exist in Pro Tools yet, right? So I got nothing. Everything's working. I have my, re my track record enabled. I have MIDI signal coming in. Even East West is playing right here. You can see that there's volume coming out, but I'm not getting any sound in Pro Tools. So what I'm gonna need to do is come down here in Pro Tools. I'm going to make five for each of the tracks, stereo, aux inputs. And I'm gonna call this again East West prefix, create. There we go. Now I have five aux inputs here. And on the the input, we're gonna go to plugin here and you see play shows up. Look, there's all our outputs from play. We have 17, 18 up to for the max in play, and we have 17, 18 in the max here. So I'm gonna make this three, four. I'm gonna make this three, four. I'm gonna make this five, six. I'm gonna make this seven, eight. I'm gonna make this nine, 10. I'm gonna make this 11, 12. So now these are all corresponding. Oh, it looks like I missed one over here. Make this 11, 12. So these are all corresponding. So if I look at the, the signal chain, so to speak, for one of these instruments, if I select East West one, that's record enabled. That is routing into play one one. That's the first MIDI channel. So it's going to activate these first violins. And then that's coming in MIDI channel one and out audio channel three and four, which Pro Tools is receiving right here. Play three, four, right? Plug in, play three, four. So if I did everything right, when I select this first east west channel, MIDI channel, and I play, <laughs> very epic trills going on. And that's routing into the east-west um, six, which is labeled incorrectly, but that is perfect. That's exactly what we want. And each of these will do the same thing. So if I have east-west four, that's gonna be down here. I'm gonna relabel these in a second. Now you can mix these audio tracks separately. You can record different MIDI channels, which is great. And you're only using one instance of the east-west play engine, one instance of contact. I'm gonna jump into contact in a second here. Let me just rename these. So I like to do like this, violin one, violin two. By the way, you could bust these to the same 
um, aux track, you could bust all the strings together into the same output if you wanted to. This was viola, cello, this is bass, and then for the audio tracks, I usually just do the same thing, but caps, Pro Tools doesn't mind if you do that. Violin one, violin two, violin three, violin four, no, 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 too many violins. <laughs> viola, cello, there you go, and bass. There we go, so now if I, I am correct, these are all set up correctly. And I should have violin one MIDI channel, violin one audio. Perfect. So that's that for East West. Let's do the same thing for contact. So I'm going to close this, create a new channel here, new track, excuse me, instrument track. And this is going to be contact. So I'll load up my contact instrument here. We're going to do basically the exact same thing. Um, it's a little bit different in contact. I can ignore this. I have these loaded up as presets. I just moved all my samples over, so contact is still trying to figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to pop a, this is just my um, custom piano sound that I made. And let me get rid of this little slash here. So same thing, just like East-West, I load my first instrument into here. You can see that the output is automatically set to stereo one and the MIDI channel is set to one. So that's actually okay. It's not on the, like it was originally in East-West. We want MIDI channel one here. So let's do a piano. Let's also do, um, let's do an organ. Let's do just a, Default B3, drag that in there. Great. So you notice that in contact, it'll give you um, ascending MIDI channels, but it won't give you ascending output. So I'm just going to go ahead and change this to stereo 2. One thing really important here to notice is that if you look, stereo 1 is two channels routed 1 and 2. Stereo 2 is two channels routed 3 and 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what Pro Tools is going to see. So it's a little bit confusing. Stereo two is three, four, but that's the way it is. Just how they count up. And let's do one more instrument for contact. Let's do just maybe a bass or what are we missing here? Strings, Mid East, keys. Let's stick to keyboards. Let's just do um, let's do hybrid keys 2.0. Why not? Cool, okay, this is a good one to check. You notice that you can't actually see anything here. There's no MIDI options. You just have to hit this little icon here, this little info icon. Okay, same thing. I don't know why this is stacked on top. One, two, stereo, three, MIDI channel. So you might be wondering now, oh wait, we already used MIDI channels one, two, and three for East West. Luckily, Pro Tools will see those as separate things for the different instrument channels. So I'm gonna add my in this case, three MIDI tracks. And for now, I'm just going to call them K for contact. One, two, and three. I'm going to route one into not East West Play, but now we have contact as an option, channel one. This one's going into, going into contact, channel two. And this one is going to contact, channel three. So first things first, I'm just going to check if I arm this one for recording, my first MIDI channel, this should be piano. Beautiful, and because this is set to stereo one, that's coming out of the main contact output right here. So if I select number two here, I'm gonna probably get no signal, no audio. You can see that contact is playing, but I haven't set up my stereo track here yet. So let's do that. We have my three MIDI tracks. We're gonna do three new, same thing, stereo, aux, tracks, and we're gonna call these K, for now, oops, let's do two more. Okay, so these are my three aux tracks. I'll rename these in a second. I need to make the input for these plugin contact. We have stereo two, 
excuse me, stereo one for piano. Uh, that's This is why I don't like to use the stereo one output because it doesn't give it to you because contact is already using it. So I'm just gonna move these over one. I'm gonna make this two, three, and four. Okay, same thing, just moving them up one. And then I'm gonna make this plug in contact two, plug in contact three, plug in contact four. Okay, so now there's my organ. And this should be hybrid keys. Whew. Great, and they're routed to their separate audio tracks. So last thing I have to do is name these. So this is gonna be piano. This is going to be organ. It's gonna be keys. And then in caps, piano, organ, keys. And there you have it. So that's a multi-timbral instrument in Pro Tools. It's basically the same setup for any DAW that you're using. So just look for those inputs and outputs for the MIDI and the audio. And again, this is so much nicer for my workflow. Um, I just select any of these MIDI channels. The CPU is totally happy. It's just one instance of play, one instance of contact. And then as I'm recording the MIDI, it will play to these separate audio tracks, which I can mix independently. I can also bust them differently. Just makes the whole process so easy. You can make giant sessions like this and you're good to go for composing. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Again, my name is Max. I'm with Fox Tracks Music and we'll see you next time.